thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi, and today we are going to talk about Python sets. So what are Python sets? Well, Python sets are nothing but, uh, it's kind of, you know, they're like tuples, but uh, they are uh, much more, how should I put it? Mm, well, I think it's better instead of me trying to define it and you remembering it, you know, trying to understand. I think it's better we do stuff and see why it is different or how different is it. One, I want to define a list here. Two, three, nine, uh, just say four, five, six. This is A. Now B equals set. Uh, well, first I'm going to type. Uh, let me know that type of data it is that is a list now I'm gonna do B type uh, oops B I'm gonna do B set of a I'm gonna convert a uh, list into set and then I'm going to type uh, hmm, type B right so that's a set so this is how you convert um, a set into I'm sorry a, a list into a set Let's print the B, what is it? So the difference that you see here now, um, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, the data is same, but the brackets, it comes with curly brackets. So set is like a tuple with no duplicates. Uh, it can contain any data types like integer, flow, tuple, string, but not mutable elements like list, set, uh, or dictionary. You can't put a set inside a set, or a dictionary, or a list, because those are all the things that you can like, you know, uh, they are mutable to take a plan let's take a plunge and uh, let's have our first set here like this right and I'm gonna type set one it prints out set one now let's say you want to add some items to it can you Yes, you can. And then I'm gonna put set one. Yes. Let's say you wanna add uh, multiple stuff, right? I wanna say six, seven, eight, comma two, right? What happened? Well, because that is not how you add it. So whenever you wanna add multiple items to a set, you add them as a list. You give a list of items that you wanna add to a set. So set one dot update this is right and then you go inside and you put your items there just uh, bear with me for a second hit now and set one as you can see I mentioned two here two was already present here and I mentioned two here but there's only one two if it was a list then you would have seen two twos uh, now let's say uh, let's do a few more operations on this one so discard and I'm gonna say word six right word spelling mistake okay this is why I use an IDE as a noob all right now let's print set one six is gone now let, let's try to do that again okay I'm gonna uh, I want to show you a difference here between set and remove did you see anything? Okay, uh, discard uh, pops out an item, uh, tries to take out an item if the item is there. If the item is not there, it will just ignore, it will not do anything. However, if I do set one dot remove, I will say one and uh, set one, okay, one is gone. Now I'm gonna do the same stuff again right uh, there you see so that's what happens uh, in list uh, you used to pop out items based on index but can you index a set one let's see what happens you can't index a set so you can't pop out an item based on okay pop out an item the fifth item sixth item or something so when you do this right so it randomly takes out any number that it wants right uh, so you don't have control 
over which number it takes out and it's also unordered so yeah that's how it is tuple encloses all of its items with uh you know uh curly brackets right uh, uh sorry uh parenthesis uh set encloses its items with uh, curly braces or just braces right now let's uh do some more operations here a equals one two three four five six b equals mm, right uh seven eight nine zero maybe two three as well right now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say is a dot inter section yeah uh, i will say b see what happens right so it's going to tell me uh what are the things which are common between a and b that is uh it's like a venn diagram if you have studied in school right there are a lot of other cool things that you can do with it symmetric difference let's see what the hell it is okay um so symmetric difference shows the items which are unique to both a and b in this case right so i can do the other way around but let's see i mean let's do it and see what happens right same stuff so uh it's like you know uh, if there are two group of people and if you want to know what's um uh, like you know what are the names which are common in both are what are the names which are not common in both the elements you go from a to b group or b to a group it's the same thing uh, you get the same result same way there's one more thing uh, a difference uh, it's straight up difference right so it will uh, tell you the difference uh, of b compared to a uh, the other way around is true as well uh, if you don't want to just keep differentiating and we want to do something more you can do union here so it will unite both of them and it will give you a new uh, united set uh last bonus here uh, how to create an empty uh set all right i'm gonna say here uh, and i will say type a and that is a dictionary so how do you create an empty set well like this set a now you say type a and you have set right so that is how you do it thank you for tuning in and you have a great day